Hey, Akuna Matata, the long awaiting firmware update for the Canon C70 is out. Canon released it really today. So here it is. I am in the Canon Hong Kong website. So here the firmware update. Canon digital cinema camera. So what this is, let me highlight it. Canon digital cinema camera, your C70 firmware version 1.0.7.1. The previous one that I have is 1.0.6.1. All right, guys, now let's look at the detail quickly. So here are the detail. I think some of those improvements I'm just gonna pass, I'm gonna pass them, I'm just gonna focus on the most important one. So from my version 1.7.0.1 incorporate the following enhancement. Number one, I'm gonna pass the number one, it's all about cinema lenses. Yeah, I don't have any cinema lenses, I pass that. Number two, number two is about clear scanning resolution. That is, what does that mean? For example, my C70 is set for, set for Europe. When I go to North America, when I'm recording with, when there is a LED light, sometimes I see flickers. And the clear scan helps you really address that so you don't see those kind of flickers anymore. Great. Number three. Number three is about waveform. In the current situation of the Canon C70 that I have right now is the version 1.0.6.1. So I have the, I don't know if you can see the waveform here and it's fixed, that's what it is. I cannot make it bigger, I cannot make it small and that's the size that's come up, I cannot change it. If you want to make it big, so you can see it properly, you cannot do that. But with the new firmware update, I'm going to update it later and then I'm going to show you the difference. With the new firmware update, so now you can size it up, you can size and size and small. When I'm going to update it, you can see the difference. Okay, all right, so number four. Number four is almost the same thing like number three but this time it will the ve vector scope so you can enlarge it or you can reduce it okay number five number five is to enable changes of the waveform and vector scope transparency so that you can make it transparent so then you know it does not block you know the image that you see behind it so that's what it is and number six i think number six is the most important part really for me is to improve the af performance so what is allow us enable tracking frame to change variable depending on subject okay and second point of the improve the af enable to detect head facing sideways or backward or in situations such as when wearing a hamlet excellent all right so quickly let me go into the menu now and let's go into the yeah quickly let me go into the all right so here we are so that's what we have currently in terms of the autofocus yeah all right so we start from here af mode continues all right you have continuous af boost and one shot okay oh yeah, yeah. And then AF frame, we have whole area, large and small. That's fine. And then we we'll go to the next one. So we have face detection and tracking, right? We have on and off. And then we have face AF. So we have face only and also face priority. That's fine. So we have A, eye detection, on and off. So that's all what we have in terms of the autofocus. So we're gonna update it and we're gonna see what do we mean, you know, by that. All right? Yeah, you can see the, so that we can see the difference. And number seven, add select subject assignable function via control or okay. So basically, when you have the lens, right? You know, the lens and the top of the lens, this one you can assign it. Uh, you can assign it. So that's what you mean. So now you cannot assign it. Excellent. So those are the improvement that this new firmware update, you know, bring in. All right. 
So those are improvements that those new firmware updates bring. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to quickly update it to the latest firmware, and then we're going to see those changes, right? Okay, just bear with me a second. All right. So I'm going to, first, we're going to check what is that's the current firmware update, yeah, 1.0.6.1. So we're going to update it to the latest 1.0.7.1. So here you can see there's an option that is given, given to you. Firmware version update, firmware version 1.0.6.1 to, to version 1.0.7.1. So we're going to slowly move into OK. And then from the OK, we're going to record it. Yeah. I'm gonna press. Yeah. And now it is updating to the latest firmware. It's gonna take a few minutes and I'm gonna speed it up so not to waste your time. So in the meantime, please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. Help me reach 2,000 subscribers. I am just less than 170 subscribers to 2,000. So give me the subscription subscription that will allow me to reach that. Yeah, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet. And also give me a thumbs up for this video. Okay? Well, thank you very much. A few moments later. All right, my friend. So it's now updated. So we're gonna go through that quickly setup and then we can start. Okay, now you can see from our update 1.0.7.1. That's what we want. And we're gonna press okay. Right. Okay, now we have it updated. So now let's quickly look at look at the detail of the improvement. So what I said, number one, I'm just going to pass it on. I think number two, also I'm going to pass it on not to make the video too long. It's long already. And let's start by number three. So number three, let's look at the, let's look at the waveform. I'm going to press waveform, waveform, where is my waveform? waveform? Okay. Yeah, you can see on the screen the waveform, yeah. Before we can do nothing about it, but now you see, as soon as I touch, it became big, so it's small. Touching it became big, touching it became small, touching it, it became big, and touching it, it became small. So that's that's the thing. So you can change the sizing of the you know of that. So that's one thing. Uh, okay, so number four, enable vector scope. Uh, I'm gonna pass that. Number five, enable change waveform and vector scope transparency. I'm gonna pass that too. So let's look at the AF performance. So I'm gonna go into the menu and let's go find AF. All right, so here where we're gonna find AF. So let's start from where, okay. So from here, AF mode. So F mode, he, now it's on one shot, when you go in there, so we, I always want to put continuous. And F frame, I always go for whole area. You know, the rest is fine. So let's move to the next. So here, what are we going to change? All right, here, first detection of here, yeah, we're going to bring it on. So now it's on. So first AF, we have first, only and first priority, all right? And then we have eye detections, we bring it on. And then, so that's the addition here, head detection mode, yeah. So we have detect from face or detect face or head. So that's exactly as, you know, the addition that it was made for the Canon EOS R5C. And what else? So that's all. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's what enable 
tracking frame to change variable depending on subject. So, and enable the tag head on face. So that's what it is, so. All right, okay, my friend. So that is the firmware update, yeah? I'm gonna do a proper, proper review of the firmware update, yeah? Just to go through the little bit in, in detail. But for now, it's just a quick to tell you that the firmware update is already out there and you can update it. And really the improvement of the AF, if it's really similar to what happened with the EOS R5C, I'm telling you, it is just a killer. Is this firmware update is a killer firmware update that the Canon EOS R5C, you know, Canon C70 has been waiting for. Yeah, let me repeat it again. There is the killer firmware update that the Canon C70 was waiting for. Okay, my friend, if you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, do subscribe to help me reach 2,000 subscribers. Wonderful. As always for me, Kuna Matata, may God bless you and protect you and forever. Only love. Bye for now. Kuna Matata.